Hello and welcome. It's good to have you here. I am glad that you're interested in artificial intelligence. It's a big topic and there's a lot to cover about what it actually does and what its possibilities are. In this video, I will explain why companies want to amass data at all costs and how data is linked to AI. And let me tell you, all those freebies you find on the Apple and Google Play Store aren't as free as they may seem. They have a huge hidden cost. Data companies turn their users, and that means you, into their guinea pigs. Stay tuned, and I will explain how I arrived at this conclusion. First off, though, let me start by explaining what artificial intelligence actually is. Artificial intelligence is an extensive division of computer science. Its goal is the simulation of human intelligence processes. For example, recognizing whether there is a cat or dog on the computer screen. Of course, easy enough for you, you'd think, but not as easy for the computer. To do so, computers are trained using pre-existing data to perform various tasks. In our case, recognizing whether there is a cat or a dog on the screen. The learning process starts by feeding the computer millions of pictures of cats and dogs and thus training the computer to classify newly seen pictures as such. Isn't this simply amazing? The computer can decipher whether it sees a cat or a dog. Hmm, smile. Do not get me wrong, there is a lot of technical details that I leave out, but in its simplest terms, this is what happens. Of course, AI is not limited to cats and dogs. The tasks that computer can do are endless. They can range from predicting your next favorite TV show, as in the case of Netflix, what you may want to buy, as Amazon does so well already, and maybe even if you're already pregnant, even before you know it yourself. Can you believe it? Just based on the search history of a woman, the Amazon AI algorithm was able to correctly predict that the woman was pregnant, even before the new woman actually knew herself. If you don't believe me, look it up yourself. Now that we know all those amazing things that AI can do, we arrive at the big but. The but is, of course, the origin of the data. As you may have guessed it, the origin of the data to train the computer for such tasks comes directly from none other than you. The important part here is that in order for the computer to make decisions, it needs some sort of data as a foundation to learn to make decisions on its own. Otherwise, all these predictions would not be possible. This leads us directly to the important point in the big picture. As more and more of our lives become digital, and at the same time every action that we do, whether shop for groceries, look up a recipe online, shop for our favorite clothing, even walk the dog to the park, becomes a data point for big companies that they can use to train their machines. Now can you see why all those freebies you find at the Apple and Google store are not so freebie anymore? Basically, companies turn all of our actions into data. This data companies then use to train their machines to make even better predictions about us. Can you believe it? We basically sell ourselves to become guinea pigs for big companies and their machines. All these freebies on the Apple and Google store do have a hidden cost, who would have thought? Now that you know all the possibilities marketers will have at their disposal, I would like to highlight the market projection for AI technology. The artificial intelligence market is expected to grow from $87 in 2022 to $407 billion by 2027. This is a five-fold increase in the span of just five years. Some of this growth will come from new use cases for business, such as support in decision-making, interactive games, real-time retail recommendation engines, and so on. Another hot topic is the growing demand to access historical datasets. In other words, how do we get insights into information that was already recorded? Of course, we cannot let goods go to waste. Grandma would be mad if you left food on the table as well, right? As you can see, AI is the next best thing for companies to invest in. No other technology can even come close to what is possible when enough data exists for these machines to consume. Moreover, I have just scratched the surface of what is possible for AI technology. The market growth of this technology is simply breathtaking. Maybe you have heard, there's a race to the top 
for AI technology and maybe now you can understand why. It is simply because whoever has the best technology will outsmart everyone else as they simply understand their product, meaning us, best. As mentioned before, there is no free lunch and all those freebies do have a hidden cost. You become a guinea pig for big companies. As always, thank you for listening and do not forget to like and subscribe.